Good day. Doug Skinner here, Honest Intentions. Going to a conference. Want to plan, prepare, make best use of the time and effort. What should we do? Well, let's see. I want to grow my network and a little bit more background. I am hosting a meetup group. And within the meetup group, I would like to have guests, more members, more guests, and guest speakers. And so I want to use this upcoming conference that's being uh, held in San Jose by Intuit. It's called QB Connect and to find members for my meetup, which is also addressing uh, QuickBooks as well. So what we want to do today is start preparing for that. And the first tool that I use is LinkedIn. And when I go to LinkedIn, the first thing I notice, let's say you, you're going to search for some people to invite or to see at the conference. Uh, ooh, there's 8,600,000, give or take a few people that I could invite. And that's way, way too many. So we're gonna reduce that number and introduce a keyword search on the advanced filters. Okay, so the keyword that I'm choosing is Pro Advisor because the QuickBooks certified folks are called Pro Advisors. And now we've dropped that number down to 13,000, a much more manageable number, but still too many. So let's put another filter on top of the Pro Advisor keyword. And since my, key, my uh, meetup events are held in a geography, I'm gonna use the location filter on LinkedIn Advanced. And since the meetings are held near Palo Alto, I'm gonna put a zip code 94304 for Palo Alto. And then I'm going to limit the range to 10 miles from that zip code and see what kind of results I find. Now we're down to 72. This is a very manageable data set. And so I'm going to start looking through uh, this group of names to invite some people. But before I do, I would like to know what the complexion of these 72 folks looks like. Okay, And you can do that within LinkedIn. Uh, particularly if you have these uh, advanced feature sets. So some of the companies that are employed are listed here. Uh, some of the groups that they belong to, successful QuickBooks, certified QuickBooks, California Society for CPAs. This might give you an idea about what groups that you can join. There's 50, up to 50 you can join. So I would join 50. And how many years of experience do these 72 folks have? Well, most of them have more than 10 years of experience. And what type of function do they uh, have in their profile on LinkedIn? Well, they're entrepreneurs, they're in accounting, they're in marketing, business development, and finance. Well, what kind of seniority level do they have? Well, let's see, there's 26 that are senior, 17 that are entry, you get the idea. Uh, what kind of interests do they have? Well, uh, overwhelming majority of them want to use LinkedIn to reconnect and to be a reference check and to be seen as an industry expert and be either potential employees or consultants and contractors. So they're pretty much across the board, a large percentage of them. Let's see what kind of companies they are in. Uh, most of them are in smaller companies, 1 to 10, 11 to 15. That would make complete sense because we're looking at pro-advisors for QuickBooks. Uh, so that, that's how that dis, uh, uh, lines up. So the next thing would be, what kind of message do I want to send to these 72 or a subset of these 72 folks? And I've already created a message, so that let's go over, over to get that right now. I put it on a... Um, on a, on a text note, okay? So here it is, and we're gonna use this one, okay? Uh, when you're connecting with people on LinkedIn, uh, do not press this button here that says connect. This is not what you do, because it just prompts LinkedIn to just send in like a generic message. Uh, rather, what you would do is you go right into their profile, right, right click on their name, open a tab, um, I would, you know, here's another one, right click, open a tab. Um, here's another one, 
right click you get the idea right click open a tab so if it says connect over here if it says send in mail they're not looking to connect so <coughs> that one I'm going to I'm going to delete that one and go to the next page uh, okay here's one right click open a tab okay um, so I got three of them open that that'll be enough to show example here let's go to the first one this is where we can press the connect button and it opens a window and you can see he's not quite active there's 47 connections uh, but we can put the following choices in the field so we're going to say that we're a colleague and we're going to pick the company that we want associated with them we're going to delete the generic message and we're going to use the custom message that has been pre-selected okay now one of the things that you'll notice if you create a custom message is that it tells you whoops you've exceeded the maximum length they give you 300 characters so what we're going to do is i'm going to finish this off here put john no it's not john it's wayne and and you can see I've exceeded the the other the length here with his name Wayne. The other thing it's I know is going to be a problem is this um, website link here. This is my meetup group link. That's going to be a problem. So <clears throat> we have to get rid of what would tip off the computers that this is a website link. Okay, so I'm just going to do this thing here. Dot com. All right and see if that works okay hi wayne i see your pro advisor peninsula local attending qb connect uh, shall we connect here on linkedin and at the event um, we may be resources for one another and by the way i host a local meetup great speakers and topics check it out okay so that will be my invitation that i send to wayne okay let's try another one Okay, so colleague, Sue, link, paste, Sue. Okay, I might as well change the cut and paste so I don't have to do this over and over, right? Like so. You get the idea? Why don't you give it a try? You could probably do a few and expand your network. Do it with people that would be suitable for your needs, where you really want to grow. And um, we'll see you on the next video. Take care. Let us know your thoughts on this. Uh, and uh, we'll see you around on the next one. Bye-bye.